Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 66 of the FIFA 18 My Player Career and I think this is an FA Cup game to get today's episode started. We are at home taking on Bournemouth and now obviously we want to try and get ourselves to the final to lift up the FA Cup trophy at the end of the season and we are hoping that this is going to be our final season here at Manchester United. We didn't get the move away in January as I mentioned in previous episodes so hopefully things go our way in the summer and we do eventually and finally get that move away. Uh, but let's concentrate on the rest of the season then here in Manchester in the Premier League as well. Uh, we are still in European competition as well as the Premier League. Looking good for the Premier League title to retain that. And hopefully, as I said, we can go on and win the FA Cup as well. Early chance there for Manchester United. Just the wrong side of the post for Mbappe. Uh, but a good um, attacking play early on. It's what we like to see. Uh, unlucky there. And just not to get it on target. Well, once we go, 6.4 rating for Kite in the first five minutes. Not the worst. Hopefully, you can improve on that as the game progresses. Uh, we are approaching uh, the 10-minute mark in this match. Good defending there by Rigoni, I think it is. Uh, tracking back there. Now, Kai plays the ball forward for Kylian Mbappe. Kai's carried on his run down his um, near side. He's going to go all the way through here. Has he got a bit of skill to go inside? He does indeed. Lays it off there to Fellaini. Fellaini shoots and just off target. Another chance goes begging for Manchester United. Should have really done better there, Fellaini. At least got it on target, but he lifted it just a bit too much. Actually went wide and over. Uh, but another good chance. We are pressing forward at least. Uh, looking hungry in, uh, very much so. So hopefully it won't be too long before that goal comes. Uh, we are into the second half now though. And it is still goalless here at Old Trafford. As Kai runs forward with possession. Trying to get between two defenders. He's been taken down there. And he has won a free kick here for Manchester United. And is that Lewis Cook? I'm not sure what Lewis Cook looks like. But I think that is Lewis Cook. Is he going to get red carded? Or is it going to be yellow? I think it's just going to be a yellow card here. It is indeed. And yeah, it is Lewis Cook. He gets a yellow card then for Bournemouth. He's got to be careful now for the rest of the game. Only a couple of minutes into this second half. And he's going to be Kai who steps over the free kick. Is he going to do anything with the set piece? No, straight into the wall. Poor, um, poor set play there from Kai. Should have done better. Should have at least got it past the wall. Uh, but on FIFA 18, I do struggle with free kicks. I've got to admit. And onwards we go. Approaching the hour mark. Bournemouth still staying in this game. 0-0. Still searching for the first goal of the match as well. For both sides, that is. Bournemouth not really had many chances, I have to say. It's been all Manchester United so far as we press once again straight through the middle of the field. And poor ball, but Kai does get it eventually. Cuts inside, nice bit of skill. Opens up a bit of space for himself. Hits it. And straight into the hands of the Bournemouth keeper. So they... Live to see another day at least. It's still 0-0. Begovic throwing it out early there. And applying a little bit of pressure there. Kai, but unable to win the ball back for Manchester United. So onwards we go then. Approaching the final 20 minutes here at Old Trafford. And as I said, we are still looking for the first goal of the game. Who is going to get it? Hopefully it's going to be Manchester United. As we push forward yet again here. Is Kai just on the edge of the air. Runs inside. But good defending again from Bournemouth. And cleared out for a United throw. Marino there on the sidelines, trying to shout some advice for the players. Nice cross there, and oh, off target. Who was that? A great chance there for Manchester United to steal it later on. It was a fantastic cross there from Kai. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure who it was who got his head on to the end of it. But it unfortunately could not get it on target. And there is going to be a free kick here for Manchester United, just inside their own half. And just over 15 minutes remaining. Free kick it is end for Manchester United. Kick forward. Nicely controlled there. Attacking on this near side. Kai runs inside as well. Plays it back across the middle. And on the edge of the six-yard box. I think that is Anthony Marshall. Only took 75 minutes to come. But finally, the deadlock has been broken. Kai will also get the assist for that one. But there is the Frenchman, Anthony Marshall. Nice finish there. Just turned his body. And nicely placed in between the goalkeeper and the defender. And now the score is Manchester United 1, Bournemouth 0. First FA Cup goal of the season then for Marshall. As Bournemouth looking for an equaliser straight from conceding. And good passing play here. Francis crosses towards Mahoney. Cleared away there by Fellaini of all people. He's back doing his defensive duties. And they're going all the way through again here. Oh no. Shot comes in. Good block. And it's falling again to a Bournemouth player inside the area. And he's put it into the back of the Manchester United goal. And now Manchester United only in front by, uh, well, for five minutes, sorry. And it is Joshua King who levels things up for Bournemouth. 
It took 75 minutes for the first goal and it's only taken 5 minutes to get 2 goals in this match. A uh, bit, bit of a blow there for United but hopefully we can go on and try and get ourselves a winning goal. We've got less than 3 minutes to play. Still Manchester United 1, Bournemouth 1 and Kai takes down a Bournemouth player. Concedes a free kick and I think there's going to be a change here. There is indeed for Bournemouth. Jordan goes off. Yeah, sorry, Jordan Ive goes off and Dan Gosling comes on in his place. Not long to play. Maybe one last attack here for the Red Devils. Pushing straight through the middle. Kai made a run. And that is a fantastic ball here for Kai. He's got two run in support. Three in support now. Keeps on going. And surely, oh my God, how did he miss that? And what in fact is Chris Smalling doing there in the first place? It should have been a striker. And it was easier to score. Great play from Kai after receiving that fantastic ball just a few seconds before. But what a great ball it was across the face of everybody. Chris Smalling got on the end of it, but too much angle on it. Goes wide of the goal, and the score remains Manchester United 1, Bournemouth 1. And we're now just waiting for the final whistle. There it is. The final whistle blows here at Old Trafford. It is going to go to an FA Cup replay. Uh, an extra game which we are going to have to play, of course. We could have done without it. That was around the 16. So we're still playing for a place in the quarterfinals. Hopefully we can confirm that in the next game, which is... Um, going to be the replay of course at the Bournemouth Stadium uh, but before that we have um, Premier League action this one is against Brighton and Hove Albion we are away from home for this one can we get ourselves back to winning ways after that disappointing draw against Bournemouth in midweek fingers crossed we can we've got to be the favourites going into this one we have um, dropped a few points as of late in the Premier League so we really need to um, claim a few wins and get ourselves a nice little cushion there going into uh, the final couple of months of this season yeah, well, early chance there, good defending from Brighton, they get the ball clear and now Manchester United with Kai getting the possession back, that's a nice ball onto that far side, Kai's in the area, cross comes towards the far post and good defending yet again from Brighton and good clearance there, the corner didn't come to anything so onwards we go then, approaching the 15 minute mark in this match and Kai's asking for it, he gets it, plays the ball for for Mbappe onto that far side, good passing play here from United and there is Mbappe, he hits the woodwork and cleared away by Brighton um, a good play there, good passing play from Manchester United I thought for a second that was going to be flying into the back of the net for an early United goal but it wasn't to be, still on the attack though here as Kaiser waits for the space for the ball to go into, there was the shot uh, another great shot so it is going to be a corner here three minutes remaining in this first half back out Tried to get the cross in towards Kai, cleared again. Brighton, I've got to say, have been defending really well so far in this game. Obviously, haven't conceded, yeah, but every chance that United get, it's the defenders who are charging in, making the block, so the goalkeeper doesn't really have to do much. And yeah, Kai's picked up another yellow card here, so he's got to be careful. I think he's picked up quite a few in the last couple of weeks, yeah, so if he's not careful, he will be suspended for a couple of games um, shortly. Yeah, well, like I said, hopefully he doesn't get any more. Into the second half we go. Still Brighton nil, Manchester United nil. Manchester United applying the pressure and they do win the ball back. Kai's in the middle. If he can play the ball through, which he does, controls it. And that is the opening goal of the game. Good attacking play. Good goal as well from Kai. Nicely um, finessed into the bottom corner. And it was, I think, Mbappe who won the ball back there. From the defender, he played the pressure. Kai ran into space. Nicely played through. Nice assist there from Mbappe. And Kai wasn't going to finish from there, was he? Nice finish into that bottom left corner to score his 11th Premier League goal of the season. So it wasn't his 20th, as the glitch said in the last episode, I believe it was. And so 11 uh, Premier League goals, which is not bad. Of course, he is only a midfielder. He's, he did have a great season last year, so he's not quite reaching the goal tallies of last year. Uh, but we did try and go out all out for assists. Uh, and I think we are getting an, a nice amount of assists as we go through here, goes for the goal, can he get the rebound, Mbappe misses the target completely, it should be 2-0 now to Manchester United we've got 25 minutes remaining, still holding on here to a one goal lead and another couple of changes here for Brighton as we approach the final 10 minutes and Manchester United are in possession Kai's asking for it, he gets it, still on the yellow card of course, and he was supposed to get that one but he couldn't control it, went straight under his boot and now Brighton are looking to equalise late on here. And the shot comes in. And what an equalising goal that is 
should not have happened. The defenders just looking at the ball come across and Brighton and Hove Albion level things up and it's Daniel Sturridge of all people. He's there to head it into the back of the goal to make it Brighton 1, Manchester United 1. But look at this cross. Two defenders around him. Daniel Sturridge just jumps up, get over, gets over everybody and heads it into the back of the net past David Heyer to score his fourth Premier League goal of the season then for Brighton. Uh, good striker, of course, always has goals in him. And so always a danger man. And so we've got three minutes remaining. And this is going to be another disappointing result. We drew against, um, who was it, Bournemouth in the last game in the FA Cup. And it looks like we're going to be ending this one with a 1-1 draw as Paul Pogba picks up a yellow card. Not sure what that was for. Must have been something in the previous play. What did he do? Didn't even get to see the replay. And we do have ourselves a corner here. And the corner is poor. Gets cleared away here by... You know, Brighton and Hove Albion, but Manchester United maybe one last attack, not long to play on the clock. And here is Kai in possession, lays it off to this near side, play through for Ragoni, and he gets Manchester United the victory. Surely Brighton are not going to have enough time now, and it is two goals to one for Manchester United away from home. Everybody thought it was going to end 1-1 and a point for either side, but we've stolen it at the very, very end. Kai lays it off. The ball plays through there from Anthony Marshall. And it is Rigoni who gives Manchester United a 2-1 lead. And the three points. That's his fourth Premier League goal of the season. And not long to play. Maybe just a couple of seconds before the referee blows his whistle. Come on, ref, blow that whistle. There we go. The final whistle blows in. It does end Brighton and Hove Albion 1. Manchester United 2. A good performance from Kai. He finishes the game with an 8.2 final match rating. He did get the first goal of the game as well for United, of course. So we're going to head into the third and final Premier League game of today's episode. This one away from home again, taking on Aston Villa back in the Premier League. And hopefully we can get the three points to make it two wins out of two in the Premier League in today's episode. Uh, but Aston Villa giving the ball away straight away. Kai's running straight through with a nice little interception. And he's trying to go all the way through again. Nobody really supporting him. And Aston Villa back in possession then of the football and are they going to press forward for an early attack hopefully not good defensive play there from Anthony Marshall does concede a throw in though Aston Villa again in possession playing straight through the middle need to add a little bit of wideness to their play if they're going to get through us because yeah, we are very, very strong going through the middle. And here is Kai. He needs to do a bit of skill, which he does. Cuts it back. Goes for the shot across the keeper. Goalkeeper makes a good save. Cleared away. And Aston Villa, are they going to get it cleared away fully? No, they are not. They've lost possession. Cross needs to come in. He's got three, four plays in support. That cross is blocked. And pouring in there from United. Should have done better. Had plays in support, but just couldn't get it into the area. So, score still remains goalless. Here at Villa Park, Aston Villa are giving the ball away again in midfield. I was going to say they're going forward for an attack. Well, nice skill here from Kai. Ball over the top, finds Vidal, heads it and just off target. The wrong side of the post, uh, but a good little ball there from Kai. Shouldn't have really got on the end of that, Vidal, to be honest. The goalkeeper or even the defenders should have come towards that, but it was Vidal. We have another chance there for Manchester United as we head into the second half. Still goalless. Kai in possession, just laying it off there, back inside his own half. Pogba finds Kai. A bit of space open up as we press forward here. Defenders are strolling around, losing possession. Uh, sorry, losing their spaces to not gain possession. And that one's hit the woodwork. I thought that was going to be creeping into that far post there from Kai. It was a great little effort. Uh, a little curl on it. Probably would have gone into the back of the net. But it did hit the uh, woodwork and bounce clear. And still United are pressing, looking for the opening goal of the game. We're struggling, aren't we, to score many goals uh, recently. Not sure why that is, but that's nicely laid off. And that is the opening goal of the game. Finally, a second half goal there from Manchester United. It is Anthony Marshall on the stroke of the hour mark, in fact. And good little ball here. Widely, well, in wide open space. The defender was actually drawn towards the ball, but it is Anthony Marshall who scores his sixth Premier League goal of the season. And that was, in fact, his last effort, his last touch of the game, as he does get replaced here by Andre Schürrle, who comes on in his place. And now we just need to hold on. Please don't concede any late goals that we have been doing in previous games in today's episode. Don't want to be 
relying on Rigoni to get any more late winners. But good skill here from Kai. He's going all the way through. And that is a beautiful goal. Great solo play there from Kai. A nice bit of skill. Then a low-driven shot past the goalkeeper. Giving Manchester United a bit of a cushion then. Going into the final 20 minutes here at Villa Park. Look at that. Did two defenders with one. The defender ran out there. Got past three in total. Then the low-driven goal. Past the goalkeeper into the back of the net. And it is his 12th Premier League goal of the season then for Kai. As we're going to add a time then here at Villa Park. It still is Aston Villa nil, Manchester United 2. And again, we do win possession just inside the Aston Villa half. Kai picks it up. He's trying to go all the way through here. But good defending there from Villa. And there is the final whistle then. Three points in the bag. Two wins out of two in the Premier League. We do have the FA Cup replay to look forward to as well. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.